Last time, we developed a bunch of points data definition, which allows us to represent as many points as we need. Now let's start thinking about writing functions that process a bunch of points. We're going to start by writing the template for a function that processes a bunch of points, following exactly the rules that we saw before for writing templates that use unions. Let's get started. Here's the start to the template for processing a bunch of points. We're going to take in a bunch of points and produce something depending on what function we actually use this template to create. What rules are crucial for this template? First, our data definition has a one-up. That means we're going to have a conditional. Inside that conditional, we're going to have two clauses because there's two possibilities in our data definition, make none and make some. The questions we're going to ask in our conditional are none question mark and some question mark, just like in our conditionals for unions previously. Now let's think about what's available in the answer part of each of these conditionals. For the first clause, nothing is available because there's no data inside of a make none. For the second clause, there's two pieces of data available, the first and the rest. So let's extract them with the appropriate accessor functions, sum-first and sum-rest. But we're not done yet. We know from our previous discussion of nested structures that when we have a reference to another data definition, like point and bunch of points inside of our data definition, we need to reference that other template inside of our template. Let's add those references first for point. For point, it was simple. We just used process point. But what's the template for what sum-rest of BOP produces? Sum-rest of BOP produces a bunch of points. What's the template for processing a bunch of points? It's process BOP. So let's use that just like we used process point. Now we've finished following our rules and we've constructed the template. There's one really important thing to notice about this template. And that's that process BOP is referenced inside the definition of process BOP. This parallels exactly the self-reference inside bunch of points itself. We have two possibilities in our data definition, so we have two clauses in our conditional. We have no extra pieces of data inside the first clause in our data definition, so we have no extra pieces of data inside the answer part in our template. In the second case, we have two pieces of data, a point and a bunch of points. We extract those with sum-first and sum-rest. Then we have a reference to the two data definitions inside our data definition, and we have a reference to two templates inside of our template. It just so happens that one of those is a self-reference, just like in our data definition. So again, we see that our rules give us a template that follows our data definition almost exactly. We're going to do this every time we construct a data definition. It'll be even more important when we have data definitions that refer to themselves. 